Hi everyone, my name is José Cloutier. I'm a painter and a teacher at Pinso in Quebec uh, for about 10 years. Uh, my uh, first career was in uh, fashion design. I custom creation uh, and this influenced my style today uh, also. And uh, during the pandemic time, we begin to uh, do uh, lives on Facebook every week. So you can see us on the Facebook of uh, Pinso. And today I present to you a quick video of my newest painting on a caution, jeans caution cover that you see here. It's named uh, Cutie Celebrate Christmas number two. And uh, you can order the pattern on this, the website of Pinso at www.pin-so.com. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. So let's go. Cutie celebrates Christmas number two. It's the second pattern with this character on. So my pattern is on a jeans cushion cover. For the tracing, you can pin the paper in the jeans and cover it with plastic. It's easier to put pressure on your pen. This project, I worked with the Seta Color, the PBO. Uh, with the opaque red what you see now and I uh, brush it dry brush on the fabric so I can keep the uh, uh, dark color of the cushion for my uh, shadow a bit of shadow and uh, we will increase those shadow uh, later for the background wall, I used Dynasty Blue Eyes brush round number 8 with the color opaque turquoise and moiré silver mixed together. Dry brush on the surface to create the backboard and then apply shading with transparent ultramarine blue to make it darker between the board. To add shading on the red color, I prepare a mixture of transparent ultramarine blue with the opaque red that I applied with the Princeton Select Lunar brushes um, for the shadow on the red. And for the, sh the sh to shade the, the turquoise, I use uh, transparent ultramarine alone uh, with the same brushes. For most of the uh, shadow in this project, it's uh, um, a mixture of uh, red and blue and ultramarine alone because it looks like jeans, like my cushion, uh, my tissue. After I put one coat of shadow, I do a uh, red again to increase the red of the, the coat uh, and all the red part in this project. Uh, also on the turquoise too. After that, to increase the um, the lights, the highlights, I used um, a, a fluo pink. So uh, it looks like um, pink when you look at it, but uh, when it's dry, it's uh, it's just uh, red and bright red. It's that's a very beautiful color. I did the same with the turquoise part in this project. I do again a coat of a turquoise, opaque turquoise. After I did the um, the shadow in ultramarine blue, and uh, on uh, all the other part too, it's a ultramarine shadow, and you can increase the color too if you like it. I want also to talk to you about the um, medium transparent. Uh, I apply. Uh, I already apply uh, a coat of uh, transparent medium on the Christmas ball that you see in the square part of the ball, and uh, I go ahead with uh, brick moiré. It's a beautiful shiny color and in the medium, fresh medium apply, it will go on transparency instead if it, it's a opaque color. So it's a good thing to know that you can do that a coat of medium and put opaque color on and it will be a transparency. So I can see uh, through it the my jeans and it, uh, it, it, it serves with 
uh, as a shadow. On the bow, on the gift too, I did this so I can keep my shadow. I don't lose my design. And uh, I applied two coats of uh, brick uh, and uh, I keep the shadow with, uh, with the, the, the jeans. After that, I apply also a, a coat of uh, red and blue to increase the shadow. At the end, you will see we will go ahead with uh, Payete on two. So um, let's go on the other um, part. For the next part, um, I will show you uh, how I did the uh, Suede Effect paint. Uh, it's I used uh, two color anthracite and um, antiquate. So uh, the pants and the belt are anthracite, and uh, the white it's all the fur part of the project. Um, the the way I did it, it's uh, I put a, a very thick layer, uh, and I do it in uh, two. Um, two layers. Here you can uh, see me doing the second layer on the left part of the color. Um, I let the paint very thick and I, I do it in a round motion with my uh, Lunar uh, and I let the texture on to dry like this so when I will eat it it will goes up this way so uh, and you can um, see that the right part of the color it's just one coat so it's a bit darker and uh, you have to let it dry before eating it for the letters uh, I follow the shape by making groves with uh, my brush um, and I did it with the antique white to two coats thick uh, and I um, I put it with embossing um, iron also on the letters so you can see now that I do the embossing uh, uh, iron on uh, as you can see it's a bit uh, shiny when it's dry but when you eat it it will become matte uh, I don't know if you can see it. I sh I think you can see that it's matte when it's uh, dry when it's eating, and uh, it's it's uh, says to you that it's okay. It uh, the texture is on, and after that you can paint on again if you want to have a a, a light part or a dark part in this. That's what uh, we will do after. And uh, it's a very, uh, it's a product that I uh, like so much. So I, I want to show you that. It's the Setakara Sered Effect. I just want to let you know that you can uh, do it with uh, uh, iron for, for clothes too. So you just have to put on uh, your paint, uh, a parchment paper, and put your iron on and just don't push on just let it to have the space to goes up uh, but the uh, the embossing iron is very easier to do it to do with this for the next step i put on a glitter gold glitter uh, on set of color on the bow of the gift and on the christmas ball i also did it on uh, around the uh, the letter of noel and uh, it's a, a very shiny uh, glitter. After that, I put on uh, lights on the black part uh, that I uh, uh, do texture on, on the belt, on the, on the pants too, with uh, turquoise and uh, silver dry brush on the texture. It's very beautiful. For the shadow in the fur, uh, I did a mix of uh, opaque white and ultramarine transparent and I mix it also with uh, transparent medium to have it very light and I put it in the whole of my texture so I can increase the texture. After that, I goes on with a dry brush and white 
to pop up the the the, the fur of my uh, texture. The last part is the it's the string. I did it with the broadline three D paint in a tube, and uh, you can iron it to have more texture on too. So it was a pleasure to uh, talking to you, and uh, I hope to see you next time.